It's 923 on Fox 43 morning news at nine and so far. OK, today may not count, but we've had an unseasonably warm winter and that has left some of our pets with runny noses and watery eyes longer than they're used to. So here to help them if you're dealing with some of those allergies issues with your pets is Dr. Bill Lewis from Lincoln Highway Vet Clinic. Good morning, Dr. Bill. Thanks so much for being with us. Good morning. All right, so we know how we can feel as humans when we're dealing with allergies, but how can pet owners tell when their little furry friends are dealing with allergies as opposed to maybe their pets being sick? Usually with allergies, we will see respiratory um, symptoms or can see respiratory symptoms, but usually in the sense of like a sneezy or watery eyes, it's usually more of a clear discharge not the mucousy yellow green stuff that might indicate infection. And then with the aspect of skins, I mean, you'll have itchy ears, they'll rubbing at their face, chewing at their paws. Um, we have animals that have actually lost weight because of intensity of, of itchies. Um, the skin may be red, may be raw. Ears can be red, raw, smelly. Those are typical symptoms that we look for. And a lot of those, I mean, again, humans can have some similar reactions too. We get runny noses, we can get itchy, all of that kind of stuff. Um, how, how is it different? You know, how, how is that different from, uh, you know, maybe your pet just needs a bath and that's why they're itchy. What should you be looking out for? Should, is it, you know, certain symptoms of the skin or anything like that, that, that a pet owner should be aware of? Yeah, and that is a good question because this time of year when we have the heat on it can dry the air which can dry the skin and dry skin can be itchy just in of itself. But, but typically in that scenario we would look at the skin we might notice some flakiness uh, what might typically look at dry skin but the skin itself would look fine um, as opposed to when we get into allergies the skin may be red um, they can be hot you can feel a little bit of heat radiating off of them um, the intensity of the itch will be different you can touch an area and they'll start to scratch with a, a back foot or they'll start just kind of even biting at the air um, ears they'll be red they'll take on a pretty foul odor at times um, and Animals might be more sensitive, like say for an ear where normally you might be able to touch it and they're finding you to touch it and they whimper or whine. Um, and with feet allergies that we tend to see a lot this time of year, uh, they'll be you know red between the toes, maybe the bottoms of the feet. Um, they'll pull back, they'll be more sensitive to it. Those are typical signs that we look for. I know this one that whenever my dog, it's so odd, whenever she starts to smell like Fritos, I know I need to give her a bath. So is that one of the things that, that you can do? Is that one of the remedies that you can do to help in this situation when our pets are dealing with allergies, a bath, or is there medication that they can take? Well, in the standpoint of the Fritos, um, it's kind, it doesn't actually have to be allergies. There is a particular bacteria, especially on the feet, that give us the Fritos or popcorn smell. Um, so there actually is kind of a reason for that. But with that said, um, you can always wipe the feet down with um, anything from baby wipes to a little bit of dilute vinegar. The acidiness can help to do some cleaning. Um, if things are mild, a little Benadryl might be able to help. But this year in particular, it's been really, really bad. And we've had to go with the big guns of the steroids, uh, medications such as Apoquil uh, to suppress the immune systems. We've had to go more injectable medications um, to try to keep things controlled. And, and and it is a matter of control. I mean, there's been many animals and as soon as the medications start to wear off, they're right back at the, the itching and the biting. Absolutely. Yeah, we're seeing a lot in pets. I know my dog is itching all over the place and I've tried everything. So it might be time to make the vet appointment because everything I've tried has not uh, helped. But of course, oh, Dr. yeah, and, and that's the, the frustrating part about it. And unfortunately, until we get a, a good standing snowfall, we're going to be dealing with these allergens, you know, well into spring and, and year round anymore. Oh, then that may make me want snow. Thank you so much, Dr. Bill. We have all this information <laughs> on our website, fox43.com. Fox 43 Morning News. We'll be right back.